This is after a section of leaders and locals protested the transfer of Kalobeye Ward from Trukana West to the newly created administrative area. A section of leaders led by James Ekaran, who is the former MCA at Kakuma, wants it moved to Lokishogyo administratively. But one group led by Kalobeye uh, MCA Julius Edung, however, wants the ward to remain in Trukana West. Locals protested in Lokishogyo and demanded that Kalobeye should be moved to Lokishogyo administratively, but the MP through his constituency office manager John Ekal defended the move to carve Kalobeye out of the Trukana West, saying the sub-county had the highest number of wards. Watu wa Kalobeye ni mandugu zetu, watu wa Kalobeye ni mashemeji, watu wa Kalobeye atuna uchuki nao, lakini tulishanga kwa maandamano inya walifanya kwa sababu ya sub-county ya the government had set already stages. The first stage ni ile viongozi wote waliitwa. MCS, the MP, the DCC, the chiefs waliitwa. Now sasa mpango yenye ilikuwa ifuate ni kuenda kwa wananchi kuelezea kuwa kuna haya maneno ambayo yanafanyika na boundary yetu tunataka tuanzie hapa mpaka hapa na mnasema namna gani ndio wananchi wa, wa watoe mahoni hao kabla hata hatujafika hapo ndio hiyo maandamano imepangwa so kila mtu alishangaa kwani wale viongozi walikuwa kwa mkutano ya ile ofisi ya DC ndio wameenda tena kufanya maneno mengine tofauti kulingana kuliko yale walisikizana kwa ofisi ya DCC how administrative boundaries and political boundaries affect the people of Oropoi or Kalobeye. How does it affect? Because boundaries, political boundaries does not affect any raising pattern, does not affect voting pattern, does not affect the culture, does not affect even the custom, does not affect anything. I want to set an example of Loima constituency. Crossing from Loima have to have to Nadapala Lochodo. Have to Nafu 